the shows um, that are up and how long they're running um, probably four or five times a year but um, sometimes I'll even go back to some exhibits a couple times. I come to the museum fairly regularly and I like to bring people here when they come to visit me in San Francisco. Um, I think they're really building a nice collection. Um, there's always something new when you come to check out the galleries here. The museum acts as a place to get ideas and to look at other people's artwork and to kind of just a place to relax. It's nice and quiet and a place to sit and kind of forget about stressful things. <laughs> My favorite places in the museum are actually anywhere where there's a bench in front of a piece that where I, a piece that motivates me, um, where I can just kind of sit and space out and, li and look at it. My favorite place is that big tall metal staircase that, or the suspension bridge that goes from one end to the other. And there's a skylight above it, I think. And when you're up there, it's really, really quiet. I feel like I'm in a real separate space from San Francisco, and it's, and it's not as busy as the rest of the museum. I like it. I was here recently with my daughter, who's two years old, and we were across the gallery, and she saw this piece and just came towards it and said, oh, color. And I was really proud, being an artist myself, that my daughter would get it so quick because that's exactly it. This piece is so much about color. My favorite piece in the permanent collection is this Rothko painting. And it's sort of anti-intellectual. Well, for Jackson, I guess it represents um, a personal, you know, private mythology. It speaks to me in a very audio way in that I feel the tonal qualities of the painting. I, I'm much more drawn, it's much more brutal sort of style and, and the use of color is really striking. Because you have the outside border, which could be like the outside world. I feel the vibrations of the colors and I feel the tone in a very physical way. And so you have these sort of conflicting um, ideas. And then in here could be the essence of the artist. She's, she's also very shy, yet brazen in the fact that, that, uh, that you know, she's, she's letting herself be painted and clothed in a, in a natural setting. Okay. <laughs> Every class that I teach, um, one of our um, activities includes a field trip to the San Francisco MoMA. The museum is excellent at explaining or trying to explain maybe why certain artists are doing certain things. I think um, it also serves as a great reference for students because they can be studying a photographer's work and then they have access. They can go to this um, local space and see the artwork, which is really beneficial, I think. A good example for me of, of the place that SF Mama holds within the community of San Francisco is the Solowet exhibition. Um, I had several conversations with different groups of friends uh, that were sparked specifically by this exhibition and the huge advertising and press that it, it got. Um, you know, it, there was a lot of questions about whether it was art, whether the fact that he wasn't using, he wasn't actually producing the work himself, you know, how did that reference the art that he made? And so for me, that was really exciting. I think it plays an important role in um, exposing the public to new works of art, um, new genres, media arts, um, as well as being kind of like a historical foundation of fine arts and architecture and design. 
the kids I've worked with have never been there before. You know, I'm not sure how much um, how much outreach is really taking place between the sort of the non uh, sort of artsy communities of the city. Um, I think there should be more. You know, I think it's a great resource. The purpose of the museum and the community is to uh, create awareness of what creative expression is coming out as a result of issues, events, um, situations that arise in the world, in our culture. When we have these really large shows, uh, let's say the Ava Hess show, for instance, where just everyone in San Francisco is coming through at one time or another, uh, there's a sense of pride, first of all, in the museum um, that the show came and that we saw it and that it was um, well curated and um, again, this, this sense of dialogue that, that comes from this shared experience. I'd kind of like to start out telling a story about how I grew up in extremely rural settings but I was taking photographs since probably the 10th grade. And, um, and I was also obsessed with books about photographers, but that was really my only resource uh, for seeing artworks was in books. And to actually come to San Francisco when I moved here and see um, these pieces in life and see, to kind of watch them um, gain a life of their own and realize that these were artists that took them and they exist and they're accessible. San Francisco Museum of Modern Art it sort of helps me stay connected to the roots of my profession. It's inspiring to me working with, with younger artists to know that there is a sort of um, chain of development and that it is reachable um, for emerging artists in San Francisco to ultimately hope to end up in the collection here. It's a couple of things, I guess. I mean, it's, it's a chance to see great pieces of art without having to travel very far from where I live. So that's a bonus. Um, also, within my work, I, I do design work, and, and it's always a source of inspiration. I mean, the art and design exhibition part of the building, especially, I, I go there to look. If, I, if I'm having kind of a, a block in creativity, I always come here to, to see if I can steal something or, you know, borrow. I'm sorry, borrow. It's also a social place to come with friends and just hang out in, in a different setting that's not a bar or a club. It's, a, it's always a place to come and look at something new and say, if I'm feeling like, oh, what am I going to do? What a, how am I going to get inspired? I'll come and I'll see something, even that I've seen before, and say, oh, okay, I see, I see what's going on now. I feel this in a different way. I can, I can get inspired by this.